Hi Pisces, this is going to be your weekly love reading. Hi Capricorn, this is going to be your weekly love reading, okay? Healing. There's some healing taking place. Somebody's healing some old wounds, all right? Some childhood wounds. Some things are coming to the surface that need to be revisited. There is another perspective that needs to be seen here, okay? There's some healing that's got to take place, all right? So you could feel like you're going through a healing process right now. And a trigger that I know, like typically when there's healing taking place, there's not a lot of communication going on between the two of you, you know? So that could be the case for you guys. And my sinuses and allergies are like not the best, you guys. If you if you're like a subscriber on the channel, you know that my I am getting over like a cold, so you might see or hear me cough or sneeze. Looks like financial challenges are affecting this connection between the two of you guys. So somebody could be having some. Oh, look at that! What just came out? Twin flame. Mm. Spirit said, you're here. Let's talk about it. So if you're here tonight and you think like you're in denial about something, Spirit is about to let it all out. This is definitely a divine counterpart. So if you needed like some sort of clarity about whether or not this is your twin flame or not, this is your twin flame. Somebody's going through some financial challenges and they, you know, maybe aren't saying anything to you. There's a lot of strong chemistry here between the two of you, a very strong chemistry, a very strong, and it's mutual, right? You feel the same way they do. They feel the same way you do. A very strong spiritual bond, a very strong spiritual um, and physical connection here too, okay? But it's time for somebody to accept that everything happens for a reason, all right? So it looks like here, if you're a divine masculine, you could be healing. If you're a divine feminine, you could be healing. Take the time out, trying to accept the situation is what it is. So this is telling me a lot of you all are dealing with the situation with your twin flame and you're probably either like having little to no communication, not a lot of communication, or like maybe even none at all. Yeah. Somebody's going through a lesson. See, this connection, the two of you guys were brought together. If you know anything about like twin flame um, connections, right, or divine feminine and divine masculine uh, divine connections, you'll know that these connections are really meant to bring you some form of healing and clarity. It's here, it's here to bring some certain things to the surface, right? I don't, my, my phone's ringing. And I cannot go get that right now. But, so excuse that, just ignore it. But you'll know, hold on, y'all, hold on. All right, sorry for the interruption, but I was telling you, you know that these connections are meant to really bring in some form of healing or bring something to the surface from like your childhood, okay? And you're meant to heal that and learn a lesson. That's what, that's what somebody's going through here. Somebody's healing and learning some lessons and they're accepting, oh, I have some cards Okay, I see. I have some cards fall on the floor and I'm not going to pick them up, but I'm going to tell you exactly what I see. Denial is here on the floor and unavailable is here on the floor. Okay, so that tells me two things. Number one, somebody is supposed to be accepting something, but they're having a hard time accepting it. And somebody is unavailable. That could be either emotionally unavailable or that could be literally like, I don't want to talk. Energy. Okay, so let's see. Let's move on. Somebody wants forgiveness in the situation, but someone else is not, doesn't want forgiveness, okay? They don't want to talk. But in order to move forward, you've got to forgive. That's what, that's what Spirit is saying here. But, you know, you have your own free will. You can do whatever, they, whatever you want, okay, collective? Yeah, see, there's a strong energy of somebody wanting to heal, learn, grow, from this whole experience between the two of you. Yeah, somebody definitely wants to work on it. Yeah, so we have the palm tree and then we have the hammer. Somebody wants to talk, you guys. Your person wants to talk. 
I feel strongly that you do not want to talk to them. Look at this. Kisses. <laughs> they said, I want to kiss you. I want to touch you. I want to hold you. I want to smell you. And something just fell on the floor, and I'm not picking it up, y'all. Not today. I'm trying to see. It fell face down, so I don't know what it said. It's, that's okay, though. It'll come out in another day. Let's keep going and see what else is going on here between you and your divine masculine and your divine feminine or your twin flame. All right, let's see. Yep, somebody's thinking about the past, okay? They want to move towards calmer waters here. But somebody feels like, oh, you know what? Somebody feels like time is running out and they think you might have moved on. I, you could be a Sagittarius, okay? Some of you guys might be a Sagittarius, okay? Not everybody or fixed sign, a Leo, Aquarius, a Taurus, a Taurus or um, a Scorpio, Aquarius. Did I say all of the fixed signs? Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Taurus, okay? Or Sagittarius is what I just got here. Um, somebody feels like they may not be good enough for you. And they can't stop thinking about you here, okay? They feel like the time is running out. There's definitely a healing process, like I said, happening. They want to move forward and work on things and progress and get better. It's not, this doesn't feel like negative energy, so to speak. Are there some challenges? Yeah, there are, some, there definitely are some challenges. And the challenges are very important. Healing finances obviously somebody could be having troubles with their money or they could feel like maybe they're not enough for you you know a little bit of insecurity here what else tell me what else spirit yeah see there's the, there's exactly the twin flame connection is like about a connection where you mirror each other so the two of you could be mirroring, even though you're not around each other, right? You could be mirroring the feeling. So the two of you could be separated, not talking, and still be feeling the same exact way, okay? We have mirror. And really, a twin flame is like your other soul. It's your other half of you. If you guys don't know about that, just Google it. Like, literally. Mm -hmm. That's what this is. I'm just telling you. You're marrying each other. So you're both doing some healing. You're both meant to be taking this time right now when you're not communicating to be learning a lesson. You're both meant to be going inward and having some form of self-introspection, okay? I'm just keeping it real. This ain't me. Um, somebody just feels stabbed in the back though if somebody wants the truth. I don't know who that's for, but it's for somebody. Yeah, you don't want to talk. You said, no, I don't care what they say or what they're doing, but not today. I don't want to talk. I don't want to hear what, no, what they have to say. I'm still upset. I'm still pissed off. I'm still angry. Like, this person wants to talk. You don't want to talk. All right. Let's see what else here. There is an opportunity. The good news is there's an opportunity to grow. There's a new, oh yeah, somebody feels like they've missed out on an opportunity with you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy, Four of Cups. Mm. You guys, okay. So I have strong Gemini energy here. I have strong Leo, and then I have strong. Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio energy here. Okay, and I'm going to show you this in a minute, but now we have a pair. King of Wands is on the bottom of the deck. So you could be a fire sign. You don't have to be, right? This is just saying, like, energetically, this King of Wands, who is this divine masculine? They don't have to be um, a man to be a divine masculine. So just keep that in mind. Just apply the rules where they fit, okay? Uh, you know, assign yourself here where it feels comfortable is what I'm saying. So like the king of wands is, tends to be somebody who's like really good looking, somebody who loves to have fun, they're like really adventurous. Um, they take action. They have a lot of confidence. They're pretty, usually pretty sexy. 
very sexual, um, someone who isn't, can be like an entrepreneur. This is somebody who like takes action, even though in this deck, this King of Wands is sitting in his chair. So he's thinking, thinking about the action. He's not actually taking the action. And this King of Wands, uh, here's the Queen of Wands that came out. Remember the King of Wands was on the bottom of the deck, but the Queen is here. This King of Wands though, this Divine Masculine, is undecided and they're thinking they've been juggling okay i don't know what they've been juggling oh i see they've been juggling they've been back and forth with how they feel about you they've been really emotional in their feelings that's what this is they've been really in their feelings mm -hmm. and they've been holding back their emotions so this person has been going back and forth with how do I communicate with the divine feminine and tell them how I really been feeling? That's what it is. Um, somebody feels like they may have taken a tad bit too long to make a decision. By the way, they see you as the queen of wands and the queen of cups. Okay. They see you as somebody who's nurturing, okay, who's kind, caring, and empath, right? Um, willing to give their love that was sweet, kind. You know what I'm saying? You would give them, like, the shirt off of your back. You would do anything for this person, right? You know? I mean, y'all could have cooked dinner, you know, um, cater to them. Let me cater to you. Like, that could have literally been you, ready to cater to somebody, right? They also see you as being very attractive, very, because, you know, this queen of wands is the heir to the king of wands, right? Remember that king of wands we saw on the bottom of the deck? And then remember I was saying, oh, this person is undecided. They're back and forth about their feelings with you. The reason why they're undecided and back and forth about their emotions and their feelings with you because they're showing up as the king of cups. So this person showed up for you. You see, you see how they showed up? This back and forth. Plus the mirroring that we saw earlier. Okay, make this up. This is I'm I'm just pulling off the top of the deck. They showed up on the bottom of the deck as this. You showed up in the spread that I'm reading from right now as this. Mm -hmm. This person is holding back. Right? They cannot believe that you had the courage to walk away. They cannot believe you had to, I'm, I'm just pulling off the bottom of the deck. I'm about to show y'all this because because this is real. This is cannot make this up. I'm going to pick the bottom of the deck up. They can't believe that you had the courage to walk away from the situation, right? And you see how they're showing up as the emperor? This was, they can't believe it. This emperor's looking at you walk away like, damn, I cannot believe you walked away from me. Mm-hmm. Anywho. <laughs> I'm not making this up. I just want y'all to see, okay? There's a choice that needs to be made here because the lovers is here and this person's either A, disappointed in a choice that they made. Somebody could have chose somebody else. For some of you all, somebody chose somebody else and it was the wrong person. They were literally juggling, okay? They were literally juggling. They chose the wrong person. You tried to give them love. They didn't want to accept it. They hadn't healed some um, inner childhood wounds. They had some shadow work to do. They didn't realize it. They didn't know. You know what I mean? This connection came to the surface to show them that and to heal that. And now this person's sitting back like, damn. Oh. <laughs> like, mm, I, I'm not happy with the decision that I made. This is not right. I miss my person. But, oh, look at this. Now I was shuffling on the bottom of the deck was the wheel. Can you see that? The wheel of fortune. So this is definitely a destined, faded connection. Show me more for the divine masculine and divine feminine, please. Thank you. Four swords. Okay, so we have the four swords and the four cups. So somebody, if you're the divine feminine, go look up 444 and see what messages there are for you. I mean, maybe there might be a message for you. Um, there's definitely a lot of mirroring here. Okay, so we have two fours, and we had two pairs 
We have King of Cups, Queen of Cups, King of Wands, Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands. Somebody is thinking about you. They're thinking about the past. They're thinking about the memory. They're replaying events and conversations over and over in their head. They, they're up late at night thinking about the good times and the good memories that you had together. And they are just sick without you. Okay. So somebody could be dealing with a cancer or you could be a cancer. Or a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Hmm. Ten of Pentacles is here. So they feel like they could have, oh wait, I just have two, there's that juggling card. All right, hold on. So some of y'all might be seeing 1010, by the way. This person sees happiness. <laughs> this, go, this person, man, I don't know how to describe this, you guys, but this person feels like the two of you are a match made and like you're everything to them they could have a happy life with you they could have money with you they could have a happy family with you this the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles is here and guess what's next to the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles the justice card libra energy but guess what came out this two of pentacles came out again so it's like this person is juggling back and forth you know, they're juggling back and forth about this, but they're in their head about, this is so funny. They're in their head. <laughs> they're in their head about this, the queen of swords, the king of swords and the page of cups. They're in their head about whether or not they want to apologize. Right. This the queen, the king of cups, and the page of cups. This person is like, I want to apologize, but I can't. Capricorn energy, the devil card. I want to apologize for some toxic behavior. And then guess what's next? Mm -hmm. The king of cups. This king of cups is back here again, thinking about their emotion, how they feel. How you make them feel. Mm. All right. Let's move on to another deck. Remember, I did say earlier somebody wanted forgiveness, but it was like they didn't think you were going to forgive them. Or you're not going to talk to them. <clears throat> yeah, see, they're in deep disappointment and sorrow. You made this person so happy. Remember I told you earlier, you guys, that, um, oh, okay. Remember I told you earlier that, I don't know if I did. Somebody's acting like they're not okay, but they're okay. They are not okay. I don't know if I mentioned that. I think you're sticking to yourself. You're, you're just like, you know, relaxed. You're quiet. But somebody here is upset with that. Okay. There's someone here who does not like attention and there's somebody here who really loves attention. Somebody thinks the world actually revolves around them. You know that this is a soul contract, okay? You know this is your twin flame. <laughs> like, listen, soul contract, twin flame, soulmate. Some of you all could have literally, somebody could have bought a new house. Somebody could have just moved. Or this is you leaving them behind in this Eight of Cups energy. Remember I said that? Where's that Eight of Cups? I don't know where that Eight of Cups went. But y'all remember the Eight of Cups. See, moving on. Some of y'all are physically moving on. Oh, Some of y'all, somebody was married. Or is. Okay. That was on the bottom of the deck. Show me more here. Um, whoever this person is married to could be them or you, I don't know, you know, somebody's a gold digger here or somebody, remember we saw finances was an issue. Remember we saw that. So somehow there are some financial issues with somebody and someone. 
okay, gold digger. Somebody's using somebody for money or somebody staying with somebody only for money. So somebody chose love over, somebody chose money over love. They only care about how some something looks on the outside than it does on the inside. Ooh, the marriage card came back out, y'all. As I was talking, told you cannot make this up. Ghosted. So some of y'all were ghosted by this person or this person stopped talking to you or you stopped talking to them. Or this person is, is this person is married. They're doing everything they can to avoid a confrontation with the person that they're living with or they're married to. If this person, I'm telling y'all, if you're not talking to them, mm, let's see what else. Somebody's having some legal issues too. Somebody's trying to avoid some legal issues or somebody's trying to figure out how they can avoid some financial issues or a legal battle or some form of conflict. Somebody could be stuck to somebody financially and they want to make better choices. They want to free themselves from this situation. They want to be happy, you know. Mm. This person is trying to change you guys. All right, let's see what the Divine Masculine wants to say to you. What is the Divine Masculine? Ooh, okay. That was fast. I find myself looking at old photos and texts, remembering how happy we were. Okay. You touched me so deeply. I want to be craved by you. I want to think about, I want to think about kissing. I want you to think about kissing me as much as I think about kissing you. So they miss kissing you. So y'all loved kissing each other. <laughs> one more for the divine masculine. Okay. I said one more and I got three. I miss texting you every day. I miss talking to you every day. I never want to struggle Oh, I never want to watch you struggle. I will go out of my way to make sure that you are safe and comfortable. My love for you has grown stronger since the day we first met. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay. Um, so the signs you could be dealing with, make sure you guys hit the like button and share this video. It helps the channel to grow and for us to exchange um energy for a more accurate reading okay and make sure you're subscribed to the channel if any of this resonated for you okay we have um gemini libra aquarius strong libra right you had strong leo cancer scorpio energy oh definitely capricorn with that devil card and yeah that's it you guys in taurus maybe some taurus virgo okay oh gemini with the lovers Forgot about that. Okay. I love you guys. Bye.